Hello everyone, this is Duty Witcher one here on Jimmy Master Animatronics and today what I have to show you is the, a Jimmy item that is a prototype version of a produced item. So this particular item, it's like a floating face, it's a face out ghost mechanism and head and then they put it on a small spirit ball from back in the day mechanism and it kind of floats around. Now you may recognize this from the 2014 Large Spirit Ball remake where they essentially had this exact thing inside a Large Spirit Ball globe. But this one doesn't have the globe. Instead of a globe and four legs, it just has a spot for three legs. I don't have the legs with this because they were missing when I got it. But it takes three you know, Spirit Ball legs. And it's just very strange because it's a floating character, but it's not inside a globe. But anyway, so this is the prototype version of it. It was released, it was sold at, at home in, I believe, 2015? 2016, maybe. yeah, 2016, I think. Sorry, I'm just kind of tired right now, long day. But yeah, so a major difference with this compared to the produced version, which not many people even knew existed, is that there's actual fabric here around the mechanism. With the produced model, there's this rubber kind of tube thing around it, which almost looks like a stack of like pancakes. So I would kind of call it the pancake ghost because it's just a very strange look. But yeah, this one actually has fabric around everything. So that's pretty interesting. And I honestly don't know why they didn't keep the fabric design because honestly, it works. and It doesn't look that bad, probably cheaper too. But anyway, so here's the bottom of it. They used a produced 2014 uh, little base module here and there's the sticker with the item number and it does take a chummy button this one is actually the big uh, white square jack so if you have an old uh, step here pad from spirit halloween or techie then it should be able to actually activate this item which is pretty cool here's the button and yeah, and I'll show you the face. It's the same uh, screamer face that was used on like the Ghastly Gentleman, Quivering Doorman, and the face shifters and all those characters. But of course those are older items and those faces are much more detailed than this. So this is a kind of a strange concept. Uh, it's like we're just going to remove the whole globe and one less leg and make the base smaller and then sell it. So I'm surprised that this actually got released compared to other prototype items from recent years that we've now seen that are much cooler and interesting than this. So I'm surprised that the at-home store actually bought this, but they never even put it on Jimmy's website. And then they sold a skull version with a white light in it at Walmart, also not on Jimmy's website ever and it was advertised to have a red fire and ice line but it just had a white LED in it. Still pretty cool. And then there is an, another Skull character that was unreleased and I actually have it, but when I put batteries in it, I could not get it to work. So I'll have to look into that. But yeah, so enough of me talking about this. Uh, without further ado, I will press the button. So yeah, that's all it does. I guess it looks pretty cool in the dark, you know. Um, it would look even stranger probably with, with the spear ball legs on just because with this it looks like it's just kind of floating on a tabletop surface, but with the legs it's like, what's going on there? But anyway, so enough of me talking about it. I've sh shown you what it does and I've told you the backstory on it. So yeah, I have nothing else to really say on it, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this review.